Hey guys, I'm back with another video. So today we are going to do a meet my pets video. So I am going to start with the cats. We have three cats. <laughs> Come here, Dennis. I know. So this one is Desi. She will be three years old this summer, roughly. We don't know her exact birthday. She was found out on the street and we tried finding her owners and stuff and nobody came forth to claim her. She didn't have a microchip or anything. So we kept her. And at the time, all I had was my oldest cat, Nora, who you'll see in a moment. And I had her and we lived in an apartment together. Right. <laughs> yeah. And she's probably easily our voice, most boisterous cat out of all of them, I would say. No. Okay, I'll let you go. So next we're gonna do Nora. My baby girl. This one is Nora. Shoot. Hi, Louie. This is Nora, my oldest little one. She will be five this summer. I rescued her from a shelter. She was found with her and her brother in a field and she was abandoned pretty young and she was teeny tiny when I first brought her home and she's gained a little bit of weight. Oh. Do you want to go? Are you all done? Can you say bye? So that was Nora. All right, this is Oliver. He is going to be a year old. Right. He's very unamused. He likes to go hide underneath our bed and just kind of go do his own thing. He's very independent, which has been kind of a new thing. I don't know if that's just a phase he's going through or if that's going to be your personality. Hmm? What do you think? He has grown a ton in the last almost year that we have had him. And I knew that the next cat that I wanted to get, I wanted to get an orange cat and I wanted a boy because I was going to name him Oliver. <coughs> really, Louie? Can you be quiet? Oh, she does. Louie's not sitting still. I don't know why I thought that I could have all three cats plus the dog in here while I tried to film all of them at the same time, but we're trying. Louie, you're going to be next. Come here. Let me finish with Oliver. Come here. All right, so that's Oliver. He kind of does his own thing. He's the very, he's very independent. Although he likes to cuddle at night with us. So that's Oliver. Can you go? Okay, call him out. Puppers. Come here. Come here. Say hi to the world. So this is Louie. He is our big baby. I do. Yeah. He is a German Shepherd mix. He's German Shepherd, Coonhound, and Mastiff. We, I got him two years ago. He, well, almost two years ago. He just had his second birthday last month and we celebrated. We can try to insert some pictures in here so that way you can see some of those pictures. And he's a big baby. He's gonna be the ring bearer of our wedding. And he does pretty good for the most part, but he likes all attention on him all the time. And if the attention isn't on him, he will bark and throw tantrums. In that right, Papa? <laughs> so that's our Louie. All right, we're gonna step away from our furry animals that we have, and we are going to move on to a scaly animal. This is Mushu. She is a year old now, and she's pretty much full grown, I would say. I'm trying to make it so that way you can see her. She's probably the calmest animal that we have because the rest of them can be pretty crazy at times, but she's pretty chill. She doesn't really do much. 
She loves her worms and her salads. Finally, she's getting onto like her salads. There was a little while there where she was really against her veggies, but now she'll go crazy for them. So that makes me really happy. She's a great eater. She's really chill. Huh, baby girl. It's almost her bedtime, so she's even more calm right now too. Right. The only thing she doesn't like doing is being anywhere outside when like the weather is nice and stuff because she gets very defensive and very freaked out so we do not take her outside anymore. But we'll walk around the house with her. I vacuum the house with her like on my shoulder and she's just totally chill and calm. Goes with the flow. Hi huh, little one. Yeah. Her name is after Mushu from Mulan. We named her that when we thought that she was going to be a boy because she was younger when we first brought her home and we were trying to sex her and we thought that she was going to be a boy turns out she was a girl that seems to be a running trend with our animals but that is Mushu all right so our next animal is going to be yet another scaly animal and fair warning I'm gonna kind of blow the surprise I guess it is a snake, so if you are not a fan of snakes or don't want to see a snake, you can go ahead and fast forward a little bit past this part so that way you don't have to see them. So this is our normal ball python. He is a boy. He is over a year old. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Apparently he just shed. My fiance just found a shed of his in his tank. Wait. But this is him. He's quite big. When we first brought him home, he was just a little baby and he was teeny tiny. And now he's huge. But not full grown yet. Can we spread you out so they can see how long you are? So we're getting close to being able to like almost put him around my neck and like hold him like that. As you can see, that kind of shows how big he is a little bit. And we're going to be doing a more like personalized video, I guess would maybe be the word. Or like a get to know my animal or something like more just all about him. I'll make a video all about him. I'll make another video all about Mushu. But that's him. He is an animal that I've always wanted, but my dad is afraid of snakes. So I never was able to have one as a child. But now I get one. Right. Should we go put you back? So that's the end of the snake. And that is also the end of our scaly ones, kind of, other than the fish tank, which I'm sure you can probably hear in the background, which hopefully isn't too annoying. All right, so we've got one last animal to show you, and how do I introduce this one? So my most recent video was doing a cage tour on what we thought was his cage. Well, we brought this little one to the vet to get their shots. Right, we brought you to go get your shots. Yes, hi, yes, all the kisses. Hi, baby girl. We brought her to go get her shots and the vet came back and we thought that she was a boy. Turns out she's a girl. So this is still Pongo though. We are not changing her name. We're keeping it as Pongo because it was a month of us calling her Pongo, and I just can't picture calling her anything different. But I'm going to be doing an update on her tour of her cage because it's changed a little bit in like the fleece liners and stuff. And I do have some new things, but this is the update on her. Right. Little Missy. Huh. We thought you were a boy all this time. Turns out you're a girl. Right. Her and Louie love each other. They're obsessed with playing. Aren't you? Yes, you are. Yes. 
She has turned into like just the sweetest little thing. She's still crazier than ever and she doesn't like to be held. Are you agreeing with me? You want me to put her down so you can play? All right, so that's the end of our pet tour. I'm gonna go because you are freaking out. All right, so that's the end of meeting my pets video. Like I said, I'm gonna be doing a video on Mushu and her enclosure. I'll do a video on Herx enclosure as well. And I'll also probably do like a little bit of an update on Pongo's cage because a few things have changed. Mainly her decor has changed now that I found out that she's actually a she. So she's got a lot more girly things in her cage. But I'll be doing some more in-depth videos on those three. And then I also plan on doing an updated, um, what is it? Like my daily routine. I plan on filming that in two days from now. So this one will go up first and then I'll have some videos to follow. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Louie, you want to come say bye? Come here, Pop. You want to come say bye? Come here. Not to me, Sandy. To the camera. Say bye, guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs>